Alright, so in our last tutorial, I show you, showed you how to create a drawing file. So what we want to do next is make an exploded view of our assembly with a parts list. So what we need to do is we need to create a new presentation file. So I'm going to go up here to New Presentation. And I want to go ahead and save this immediately. Um, I just want to save this as my initials underscore PuzzleCube IPN, which is a presentation. I've already created this file before, so when I save it, it's going to ask me to replace it. I'll say yes. So when we have our presentation created, we want to go to Create View, and it's going to ask us to, to select our file. So we want to find our assembly in our Puzzle Cube folder. Let's see. There we go. And you have two explosion methods. You have the manual and automatic. Um, manual, you'll have your entire assembly there in your nice compact cube. Um, if you choose to do it automatically, you have to select, you have to create the distance of how far you want your pieces to be apart. So let's say I want this to be um, three inches apart. Um, I can choose to have trails or not show the trails. All the trails are, they're blue lines that show how the pieces go together. So we'll keep the trails in there. So go to OK. And it'll generate your document here. So what we see here are my trails um, along with each individual piece. What I can choose to do is tweak the components here. Um, and for example, this means that I can move this gray piece up a little bit. I can say OK. I can also choose to bring this piece out a little bit more along the y-axis. There we go. And maybe we bring these three up a little bit more. Alright, so that gives us a decent exploded view. So we're going to go ahead and save this. And go back to your drawing file. You want to add a new sheet. So again, fill in your information. Hit OK. And you want to go to your base again, and we want to find our IPN file. Um, my file automatically loads in here. If yours does not, go ahead and browse for your file in your folder. <coughs> and what we want to do is we want to orient. We want our orientation to be from the current view, so that's going to be from where we left off in our presentation file. Right now, my scale is at a quarter of the original size, so that's a little bit too small. Um, one is obviously a little bit too large. So if you try half, you can also type in um, two thirds, whatever size you might like. Um, half looked about good for this. Let's see. All right. So now you can right click, say OK. Um, we want this view to be shaded. So again, you can just double click, go to shaded, click OK. And now we don't know anything about our exploded view here. So what we want to do is we want to go to annotate and we want to create a parts list. If you click on parts list, um, it's going to ask you to select the view. So you can just go ahead and select your piece here and click OK. And you'll see this box come up here. Um, if you left click in your sheet, um, you see your parts list. So you can resize this to be whatever you'd like. Um, notice that your part number is here and all of your file names are also here. Um, we don't use the description tab for this, so to get rid of that, double click on the parts list. 
and under here the column chooser you'll see that the selected properties or what is viewable in your document um, are all located here so you click on your description and remove it you don't need that so you can say okay say okay and now our parts list is generated and it looks good so what we can do from here is we have our item numbers um, but we don't know how that corresponds to these pieces here so what I want to do is I want to go to balloon and auto balloon is the easiest so what auto balloon is going to say is I want to add or remove components first so when this is highlighted you say I want to add these components and then I want to select my placement so you see how if I hover over it in my sheet here I can have a horizontal placement or I can have a vertical placement this is pretty much just where my balloons are going to be I can change the offset spacing if I want so let's say if 0.18 is too small I can say 0.3 and then I click on my sheet hit apply and we have our numbers generated um, so now what we're looking at here is kind of a mishmash of lines and it's really confusing to read. So what we might want to do is you never want to have lines crossing over your entire piece here. So what I'm going to suggest is that we actually move all of these components to the other side here. Maybe just move this whole thing over and exchange it with, with where the parts list is. Come on. <coughs> there we go. So as you're looking at this here, we're going to see we still have lines that are crossing over. Um, this is really easy to adjust. We can just move it to the outermost edge of our piece. And now what this parts list tells, tells us is that item number one is our brown cube, item number two is our green cube, so on and so forth. So from here you can go ahead and save your document again and you'll be good to go.